Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your weekly general reading for the 26th of August through the 1st of September 2019. Now I'm pulling from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle and we have Fox Clever coming up here. Beautiful Aquarius. Alright, I'm also pulling from the Psychic Tarot, and Aquarius, I will be using the Druid Craft Tarot for your weekly general messages. And at the end of your reading, I will be pulling several I Am Positive Thought Cards for you as well. Alright, we have the Waiting Game coming up here. Thank you, Spirit. What does Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know this week, Spirit? 26 through the first. Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're ready, Aquarius. Situation of the week. We have the Two of Cups. Crossing you is the Lady. And your foundation is the Eight of Pentacles. All right. Recent past energies, the Princess of Swords. Crowning you is the Queen of Cups. Your new circumstance is the Nine of Swords. Clarified by the Chariot. All right, that makes sense right there. All right, beautiful. All right, from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the ferulet. Okay. Give me just a moment. All right, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your major energies here. We have Fox, Clever. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. All right. Love it. Now, we do have two twos here because you have the two of cups with the, the waiting game here. So the number 22 may mean something very significant to some of you. Now, we do have the waiting game. I feel like this is like divine timing here. Don't freak out over that because things uh, are going to pick up really quickly at the end of the week with this energy right here. And whatever it is that you've been waiting on is going to happen, okay? So you do have the chariot clarifying this nine of swords, which tells me that whatever seed you planted here that you've been nurturing and, you know, now you're waiting for that growth and that expansion to come back with what you put out. You know, it's, it's coming, all right, within the next week or two for you. Now we have the Feralet coming through here. This is the energy of Sagittarius. This is your overall energy. You know, this talks about balanced relationships. This talks about believing in yourself. This is also the spiritual alchemical uh, card here. Some of you may be doing a lot of inner work, a lot of balancing your energy, uh, some of you are making adjustments, all right? You're, you're taking a step back and seeing how maybe something is working out for you and then coming back and making uh, more adjustments or compromises in balancing whatever this energy means to you in your situation. Very powerful, though. Now we do have the Two of Cups as the current situation. Um, I do feel like, you know, for some of you, if you are open, if you are wanting a relationship, if you're looking for that soul connection, that soulmate to come in, um, it's very favorable for you this week. But you have to be open to receive it. Uh, for some of you, you could be making a commitment to, you know, a significant other, maybe a hand fasting, marriage. I feel for the majority, though, this has to do with uh, partnership. Some of you may be becoming one with your higher self as well when it comes to that spiritual aspect uh, as with the feral lit here, with you putting in a lot of time and effort and work 
on what it is that you're balancing here. Um, for others of you, this could be a business partnership. This could be a contract, something of uh, uh, legal nature as well. And I must say, it's it's all in your favor. It's, it's going to be very beneficial to you. Now, we do have the lady coming in here as your crossing energy. Um, what I'm Spirit is telling me right off the bat, this could just be for one or two of you. You're expecting um, a new baby. All right, so congratulations to those of you that uh, this resonates with. Now, I feel for the majority, here's this, uh, you know, waiting game, all right, that you've been waiting on, what you've planted, what you've been nurturing. Here it is, coming to fruition, all right, with the lady coming up here. This tells me you've been nurturing those seeds. You've been very grounded. You have a lot of creativity uh, with what it is that you have been nurturing. Um, and now it, there's growth and expansion, all right? Beautiful energy. And this is the energy of Venus as well. It talks about love. Um, I just, I, I'm really getting, you know, two major situ different situations here where, you know, there's could be a marriage and a baby. And then uh, for others of you, you know, whatever the, you've been waiting on here to come to fruition, here it is. And this talks about an abundance of growth and expansion. So we have the Eight of Pentacles coming up here in your foundation. This is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward. This tells me that you're diligent, you're disciplined, you're knowledge in what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. You're at the point of mastery. Some of you may be going back to get your master's degree. Some of you may be um, going to... Maybe going back to school to maybe get a higher level of education on what your skill is. But this is very positive. This tells me that, you know, you're highly skilled. You're very good at what you do. You're at the point of mastery. Um, and this is long-lasting energy. This is something that can bring about financial gain for the rest of your life. Now we have the Princess of Swords coming up here in your recent past energies. This is your energy, Aquarius, and Gemini and Libra. So, you know, with this being in your recent past, I feel like you took action on a situation. I feel like you are ready and you used your logic and reason to move forward. I feel like for some of you, you cut out toxic situations and people that may have been in your life, that, you, that may have felt like they were blocking or hindering you, you've, you've let it go and you've got away from them. You are holding that sword of truth. You are moving into, you know, the mindset of doing what's right and what's just for you at this time is what's really needed and what's important. Another thing I'm getting from this energy, this does represent going back to school, gaining knowledge uh, on a, a new trade or a new skill or a career. So many of you are really working towards honing and mastering a skill of some type is what I'm getting here. I feel like you're already, uh, this is what you do, whatever your uh, skill is, but I feel like you're taking it to the next level where there's going to be more money that can be gained uh, from it. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the Queen of Cups. Please excuse me. I'm so sorry. The Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. This tells me uh, that you are embodying this energy. You understand the psychic energy that is flowing within you and through you. You're listening to your intuition. You're just going to, with, the, with the ebb and flow of life is what I'm getting. And Spirit says, as long as you listen to your intuition and make decisions uh, by trusting in the universe and trusting those those nudges that you get uh, you're not going to go wrong all right and you are on the right path you will be guided through any uh, thing that you're not clear about if there's something that arises where you don't have clarity you're going to be guided through it that's a special uh, that's a message that just came through from spirit so that may be something for just one person in in general okay uh, you will be guided so 
you guys' intuition is on point uh, this week. Now, we have the Nine of Swords is the new circumstance, and I clarified it with the Chariot. The Nine of Swords is an energy of anxiety, uh, overwhelmed by your feelings or your emotions, okay? This can cause sleepless nights. I really do feel like whatever this uh, <laughs> divine timing was that you've been waiting, you've been feeling stuck, or you just... You were like, why isn't, you know, things picking up? Here it comes. Uh, you know, with the lady here, you have all this growth and expansion coming in here. I feel like it can cause a little bit of, wow, things are picking up very quickly. I'm getting a little overwhelmed. But it's a good kind of overwhelm, overwhelming feeling. All right? Don't let it. Uh, don't let it get in your way or stop you because, you know, you have the chariot, the energy of cancer coming through here. Uh, you know, clarifying this. This just tells me that you are triumph over adversity. Aquarius, I am grinning from ear to ear because this is beautiful. I mean, you are literally taking control over your situation, your life. Um, there is achievement here, victory and success, and you're moving full speed ahead. And this is a very fast-moving energy as well so i definitely get why this this energy of the nine of swords uh come up here because i feel like you've been waiting for so long that this is going to all take place very very quickly and it's just going to be a big surprise for you and you know most importantly about this energy you know exactly where you're going aquarius beautiful energies you're clever all right Fox Clever, you are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. You know, and that is listening to your intuition. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. I do feel some of you may, uh, like I said, that, that may be possible for you if you're open uh, and ready for it this week. Whatever you seed you planted here or seeds, you've nurtured it. And I feel like this has been a waiting game for you. Divine timing has played a part here, but it's all breaking loose, okay? It's breaking free this week for you, Aquarius, and there's going to be just an abundance of growth come in. Many of you are working, uh, doing a lot of inner work, that spiritual alchemical process. Um, you're balancing your energies. You're making adjustments. You know, with this Two of Cups here, some of you are committing to a marriage hand fasting. Uh, some of you are... Um, a few of you may be expecting a baby, okay? Now, I feel like for the majority with that Two of Cups, this has to do with you becoming one with your higher self, or this could be a contract. This could be a legal contract. This could be a business partnership, all right? Uh, for those of you that are ready and open for love, you could be meeting your soulmate this week or somebody that's meant to be here at this time, a part of your life. Uh, there's going to be growth and expansion with with whatever this seed was that you planted here that you've been waiting. I feel like getting impatient with. It's fixing to explode. Here's this abundance. Here's this growth. Many of you are masters of your skill, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is going to bring you long-term uh, financial gain and reward. Some of you are going back to get... Uh, more skills so that you completely master this. Others of you are getting your master's degree. Or you're going back to gain some type of uh, uh, education that is going to allow for what you are already skilled at to bring in more money. Uh, you're coming from a space of logic and reason and ready for action. You may have cut out people in situations that weren't serving your best interest or purpose. Uh, a lot of you, this does represent going back to school, gaining that knowledge, gaining it, you know, something that's going to uh, bring, be very rewarding for you. The Queen of Cups is an energy I feel you're embodying. Uh, this is that psychic energy flowing within you and through you. Some of you, you will be guided through the darkness. Uh, if that resonates with you, then you understand what I mean. I feel like for others of you, really, really hone in and listen to your intuition. You, you're not going to go wrong as long as you tap into your own inner well of knowledge. 
Uh, I feel like things are going to be picking up so quickly with this growth and expansion on what you've been waiting on. You could get a little overwhelmed, okay? But you're going to be able to move forward victoriously and successfully, knowing exactly where you're going, Aquarius. I love this. What a positive read for you. All right. Thank you, Spirit. I am grateful. I am love. I am a creator. All right. I am grateful. I realize that what is right about my life outnumbers what I perceive to be wrong about my life. I choose to focus on what makes me feel good. I am grateful. I am love. I may not have always made the right choices, but I did my best. I have so much love to give and everyone around me can feel it. I am given a clean slate every single day to be the best version of me that I can be. I am forgiven. I am love. Beautiful. I am a creator. Everything around me began as a thought my clothes my home and even the road i drive i drive on were once just thoughts when i take the time to contemplate my surroundings i grasp all of thoughts that took place to create the world likewise my thoughts have created things my thoughts create my actions and thereby create my life as i know it therefore i strive and i strive to think about my desires optimistically I am a creator. Beautiful. And yes, you are a creator. All right. I love you, Aquarius. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Aquarius.